हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एशियन एलिफेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एशियन एलिफेंट एशियन एलिफेंट एंड अफ्रीकन एलिफेंट कंपेरिजन थ्रेड्स टू एशियन एलिफेंट कंजर्वेशन एफर्ट्स एंड वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक एशियन और एशियाटिक एलिफेंट्स दैट इज एलिफेंट मैक्सिमस आर द लार्जेस्ट लैंड एनिमल्स इन एशिया they are the only species of the genus elephas alive today adult males can stand up to 10 to 13 feet at the shoulder and can weigh between 3200 kg to 6800 kg females are often shorter and weigh less than the males they have a robust and stocky body with a high domed forehead elephants are generally gregarious animals Female elephants spend their entire lives in well-knitted matrilineal family groups. The group is led by a matriarch who is often the eldest female. Elephants' gestation period, which can last up to 22 months, is the longest known gestational period among any mammals. Habitat: They live in grasslands and forests ranging from dry to wet in 13 range countries across South and Southeast Asia. Elephants are herbivorous and generally eat leaves. twigs fruit bark grass and roots they can eat as much as 300 kg of food and drink 40 liter of water in a day india is home to approximately around 27000 asian elephants which is the world's largest population of the species as per elephant census 2017 karnataka has the highest number of elephants with 6049 followed by assam 5719 and kerala 3054 elephant is recognized as national heritage animal of india now moving on to asian elephant and african elephant comparison first is habitat asian elephant is native to asia including countries like india sri lanka nepal bhutan and several southeast asian nations they have three recognized subspecies sri lankan elephant that is elephas maximus maximus Indian elephant Elephas maximus indicus and Sumatran elephant Elephas maximus sumatranus African elephant is native to various regions of Africa second is size African elephant is the largest land animals on the earth they can reach up to height of 13 feet Asian elephant are smaller in size than African elephants ear size African elephant have distinctively large ears which resembles the shape of the African continent while Asian elephant have smaller ears trunk trunk of Asian elephant have one finger like projection while African elephant have two finger like projection on trunk behavior Asian elephant are generally more solitary and less gregarious than African elephants they are often found in smaller family groups Now let's discuss about threats to Asian elephant. Habitat loss and fragmentation due to deforestation, agriculture and infrastructure development leading to fragmentation of elephant habitats, isolating populations and limiting their access to essential resources. Increase in human elephant conflict due to growth of human populations and expansion into elephant habitats. Elephants may raid crops, damage property and sometimes pose a direct threat to human lives. Poaching of elephants for their ivory tusk and other body parts is a significant threat to their survival. Habitat degradation leading to the reduced access to clean water sources and nutritious vegetation can negatively impact elephant health and reproduction. Climate change events leads to shifts in vegetation and water sources affecting the distribution of food and water for elephants. unsustainable agricultural practices such as monoculture plantations or land use changes that destroy natural elephant habitats contribute to population decline pollution of water sources and habitat areas including contamination from industrial activities and agriculture can harm elephants directly and indirectly insufficient conservation efforts weak law enforcement and inadequate protected areas contribute to the decline of elephant populations Now let's discuss about conservation efforts. Asian elephant are classified as endangered in the IUCN red list. They are classified under schedule 1 of Wildlife Protection Act 1972 which include endangered species and those species which need rigorous protection and therefore attracting harshest penalties for violation of the law. 
They are classified under Appendix 1 of Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, which include species that are threatened with extinction and are or may be affected by trade. They are also placed under Appendix 1 of CMS Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals comprises migratory species that have been assessed as being in danger of extinction throughout all or a significant portion of their range. Project Elephant Launched in 1992 as a centrally sponsored scheme, it aims to provide financial and technical support to wildlife management efforts by states for their free-ranging populations of wild Asian elephant. Key components are habitat conservation and management, human-elephant conflict mitigation, anti-poaching measures, etc. Elephant Reserves They are created to fulfill the objectives of Project Elephant. There are 33 elephant reserves in India, spreading over 10 elephant landscapes in 14 states, covering about 80,000 square kilometers of forest across India. The very first elephant reserve or elephant sanctuary was the Singhbhoom Elephant Reserve of Jharkhand, Gajiatra. It is a nationwide awareness campaign for elephant conservation and highlighting the necessity of securing elephant corridors. The Monitoring the Illegal Killing of Elephants program Launched in 2003, it is an international collaboration that tracks trends in information related to the illegal killing of elephants from across Africa and Asia. Elephant was declared a national heritage animal in 2010, considering the valuable ecological services rendered by the species. Now lastly, moving on to the way forward, continue efforts for habitat protection and restoration including reforestation and afforestation efforts, anti-poaching measures to combat the illegal killing of elephants for ivory and other body parts, development of effective strategies to reduce human-elephant conflicts including early warning systems, physical barriers, and community engagement. Explore innovative technologies and methods for tracking and monitoring elephants such as GPS collars and camera traps. Collaborate with international organizations and neighboring countries to address transboundary conservation issues and share best practices. And promote sustainable wildlife tourism practices that benefit local communities and contribute to elephant conservation. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. With reference to Indian elephants, consider the following statements. 1. The leader of an elephant group is a female. 2. The maximum gestation period can be 22 months. 3. An elephant can normally go on calving till the age of 40 years only. 4. Among the states in India, the highest elephant population is in Kerala. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 4 only, 3 only or 1, 3 and 4 only. You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now moving on to the main question. Has Project Elephant been able to fulfill its objectives after 30 years of its completion? Consider the statement with respect to rising instances of human-elephant conflict in recent years. What are the emerging challenges in human-animal conflict? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.